Hello, my name is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, I'm going to just try to make a standard die for like a game. So this should be fairly simple. We'll start out with a cube and part. And in this instance, instead of trying to fillet corners or sides, etc., what I'm thinking is we're going to. How do I get to. Okay. First, we want to set this to 15. Fifteen, 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 and I'm going to change the placement. So that it's negative seven point five, negative seven point five, and negative seven point five. What that does is it puts the cube centered around the origin. And then we're going to create a sphere. And we're going to make that sphere radius 7.5. Actually, let's go larger. Okay, so it's probably just a little smaller. We'll go eleven point five. Try that. So you want it to be able to be taking off the four corners, and then. We will use the cube, control click the sphere, and we're going to do common. All right. Then for the common, then we'll fillet those. We're going to say all, and I'm going to say 0 0.75 and see if that works. Okay, so I wonder what one would look like, or if it will fail at one. Pretty much looks the same. Um, okay, we'll go with that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use spheres again. This sphere is going to be only one point. Two millimeter radius, and I'm going to put that up. 
I'm going to see 7.5. That will be the one. I'll copy that and paste this. I'm going to go down to 5.5, and then I want to go towards the 7.5, so negative 7.5, um, maybe I'll go to just 5, okay, 4, um, and go 4 over, I'll copy that one, And I will go negative four and then negative four on the that gives me two and then we'll take the copy this one and instead of it being Negative seven point five on the y will go four and then negative and then how about uh, seven point five like that do the same thing copy this one and it will be We're going to go seven point five um, negative four. And then I'll copy the first one and we'll put it at seven point five and then We want to leave it zero there, but we're going to put it at the zero for the z height. That becomes a three, and then we're going to change our view over so we can see this side. The next one is five. So, actually, go back over here. What we can do, quickest way to do it is copy, oops, okay, copy two and three. Copy, control, B, and instead of them being negative 7.5, Change those so that they're seven point five on the Y. And then we'll go back forward and take a look at it from that side. If we take those. Copy them again, paste them, and this time we're going to make them opposites uh, 
and copy the first one. that at the zero, but we're going to put it at 7.5, so that makes 5. Next one is 4, so if we select this one, or this one, copy, Paste those. What we'll do is we'll put negative 7.5 on the X for both of those. Copy those. On, and then change their y values so that we make the four and let's see. If we take this one, this one, we'll copy those, and paste them, now we want them to be at negative 7.5, And X, let's go four. And let's look at the bottom. Okay. And copy those. And then copy it twice. Paste it twice. I mean. And go X uh, zero. And then X is negative four. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut all the spheres out of the cube. Now what we could try, I'm not sure if this will work, sometimes it depends on the memory. We can select all the spheres and fuse them together. And then we can go fillet, control the fusion, and then do the cut. And that creates our little holes for the numbers in our object. Uh, if if you wanted to, we could have we could have assigned colors. I could remove cut. Get the play color. So 
occasion. Get rid of the color. And then when you make the cut, it gives you the color of the object that was being cut by. Save that. That's standard dies. You go file, export. Standard die. Open and that's pretty much our dice. You can 3D print that file. Now, if you wanted to really be tricky, you could design it so that you could insert something mid print so that it made a trick die. Say, like, you could stick a BB inside of it on. You, when you weight it, you want it to be weighted on the opposite face of the one you want to show up at the top when you roll the die. I know I shouldn't say that. No cheating, right? But it's possible to 3D print your own. Of course, once your friends or whoever is you're playing with might not like it. <laughs> Alright, so that, that can be printed. On a 3D printer. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.